Hello there, YouTube. Great Sun J1 here, and today I'll be showing you how to make Kenobi outfits from the Kenobi show. So, uh, this is not just Obi Wan, of course, They're, this is pretty much all the characters that I've made up to this point. Now, I'm not going to be including my Leia outfit since it does use parts from a uh, different Leia like outfits. So, uh, use like the end of the poncho, and that does not quite work very well. So, I might include it, I might not, I don't know, this is unscripted. I'll probably include it, but keep in mind this is not that will not be the most high quality since there's been no layer of clothing. And another warning, not there will this is a part one of a two part video. Not there's not been people that have been be making a lot of Kenobi clothing since the uh, very start of the series, since maybe episode three has released and that means there's not many morphs past that and so so we're not going to have a Tala like normal outfit, we only have her imperial outfit. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So starting things off, we're going to go over everyone's robes in episode one. Not the Jedi robes, these Tatooine robes. So uh, it should look like this. Select that, and here you go. It should look like this. Then we go and get the canon kind of name tag real quick. So uh. Once you get it all on, just going to be quite on Jean, it should look like this. So there is a poncho -less version and you don't have to get any equipment. Maybe if you want to, you could come over here and like select something like, I don't know, if you're in like Songlands XL, pick a right button or a vibro sword for your like a uh, knife thing for cutting the, the meat if you want to. But this is pretty much the normal outfit so yeah if you want a poncho this version I have labeled it as a separate morph in the description but in my uh, morph selection I just have it as a different outfit and so it should look like this so uh, that's the poncho list version so now we can get into the worker outfit it's pretty much just the exact same outfit, outfit. don't change the face or the air for any of these outfits they are pretty much the exact same so well for everyone at least so now we have this on this is the uh, worker outfit which we see in episode one all right so now we're going to get the uh, jedi robes he has in the the first couple in the first i think three episodes Oh wait, that's the old hair. Hold on. Apparently I had not changed the hair codes for that outfit. <laughs> so uh, that was the old hair, so we have, I have changed it. So we uh, said that didn't happen. Okay, so this is how everyone should look with this hairstyle. So uh, for this outfit, you want to come to force sensitivity. Also has equipment for this outfit, actually. And you want to select this hood, this cape, in this brown. So uh, here you go. And now you want to come here, select this save form or this if you want, and, and uh, select this lightsaber. We have more, we have another uh, equipment, but we won't get to that just yet. For uh, this, you want to have it your, if, if you want to replicate Ataru, which is what he uses early in the series, then uh, this is what you should be uh, using but if you don't want to use that and you want the faster attacks select this and then press Sabre D which is Sabre down and get a similar look to it so there we go if you want to do uh, Cerise which you doesn't do until like a uh, I'm pretty sure episode 6 then you want to select this one just for the stance and then select the left on your lightsaber make sure it's all blue of course and then you have it and then you have that and make sure you select this lightsaber now we're going to go and get the uh, blaster that he uses. I'm not going to get any of the everyone's equipment again so uh, just to save time you want to select this blaster pistol and uh, this blaster beam. I won't get I will only get other characters equipment now so you should look like this once it's all done. Now we do have a, uh, oh I didn't mean to do that now we do have a uh, cloakless version so uh, 
and a alternate cloak, which I do not recommend. But so if you want to go and get that, go to the uh, no, no mind. But so uh, pretty much this is his cloakless version, and this is the alternate cloak. I don't recommend this cloak though, but it is an op but it is optional. It does work, but I do recommend the uh, other cloak one. So let's get into the. Uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, Jedi outfit. So uh, make sure to go and get the equipment for this outfit, of course. So uh, I want to select all this. So this is his episode four and six appearance and the uh, early episode five appearance. So uh, yeah, this is the non-Jedi robes, Jedi robe, Jedi. Uh, Outfit kind of look. I'm not going to get the equipment, I'm going to get the name tag, but do get that blaster and the uh, lightsaber though, in what I recommend. For this one, you can use that Sorisu stance, it is, he is getting back in tune with the force now, so this is it. And now we're going to come to his Jedi robes appearance. So if this seems to be a long video, it is going to be a long one. So uh, now we're going to put the Jedi Rose appearance on. It's only going, it only changes his uh, clothing, but that's pretty much it for all of them. And uh, we have this. Now we want to come over to the cape and hood editor. Select this hood. Select this cape. Select it in black because it's going to be so dark you won't notice it. And this is your Kenobi appearance for this. Um, and now we're going to come to our last Obi-Wan appearance, I'm pretty sure. Right now we have two more. So uh, this is the Ben Kenobi appearance, which is what he had at the end of the season. I'm pretty sure, the rope, I'm pretty sure I don't have to change the cape if I do, then uh, that's a bit strange. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the same. Uh, this one I've not done the video on, and it should look like this. So there's no uh, cloakless version yet. So, I will be making a part 2, hopefully, if more clothing for Kenobi show is released on this, so, yeah. Now for our episode, uh, kind of, 2, 5, Kenobi, episode 2 with Terra Clones, episode 5, Kenobi training scene. It's, we are pretty much using the exact same hairstyle, and uh, we have this. And we get the lightsaber on this one. And for the lightsaber, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it's uh, something like, I'm pretty sure it's something like this lightsaber, if not something like uh, this lightsaber, like this, maybe, maybe uh, like that, I have no idea, I've not seen, I forgot what the lightsaber looks like, so uh, yeah, this is all over once outfits, all in the description, so let's get into the Vader outfits, which will also include Anakin. Now Vader does not have many uh, appearances unlike Kenobi, so I this is I've only actually changed this Kenobi Darth Vader appearance once since I've only changed one code since the video I've done on it, which is just a cape, just to make it a bit more better looking. So uh, this is what Vader should look like. No need to change his skin colour. Now I've got to do over on sports abilities, get a for the force abilities mind trick this and the fourth strip. So uh, for Vader you want to come here, select this lightsaber in red, select this and select this lightsaber form, force stroke, uh, force push and a uh, force jump. And of course your name tag, as you can see the cape is a bit different since it does curve and like the uh, original cape I was using. And then the name tag of course, I'm gonna get Darth Malgus and uh, this is uh, Obi-Wan. Not Obi Wan, Darth Vader. <laughs> so this is your Kenobi series, Darth Vader. So let's get into the Anakin. All right, so we're going to do Padawan Anakin. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, do it with the hats on. So the clone is a bit darker in the Kenobi show, I'm pretty sure. So uh, we've also been using this face to make him look a bit older, like Harry does in the Kenobi show. So we're uh, Again, you don't have to. Now you don't actually have to get anything from the cape and hoods editor. Now I'm can't remember his lightsaber, but I'm pretty sure it'll be something like. But you should get this lightsaber. I'm pretty sure now that's coming back to me. If you want to, you can use this saber form of saber D because that's more like how he uses in the 
show. I'm not going to get the lightsaber though, just so I can uh, use, just so I can get it on the nightfall. And again, uh, the lightsaber is different. I'm going to get mind trick, force push, and force jump, just like everyone. Of course, your name tag. So, uh, let's just get the name tag. I'm just going to get random name tags now, might as well. Uh, just a little quick in the video. And so, uh, for Nightfall Anakin, remember all codes are in the description, like I said. Uh, for Nightfall Anakin, which is or aka Order 66 Anakin, we're going to be using this. Now, uh, keep in mind there's no scar by the eye. This is because I did not spot any scar, so yeah. It's, you don't have to get any hoods or cape because of how we have the hood on already and the cape. I'm going to select this lightsaber, this form, and you want to select this, this, I mean, no, I'm going to select this, this, and the force jump, sorry. <laughs> we should also probably get the force choke on Padawan Anakin, since he does still use the dark side a bit there, so but that's the uh, Order 66 Anakin. So uh, now we can get into, I'm pretty sure, Owen Lars. So uh, there's only one Owen outfit. I'll then do Norway, and uh, then we'll probably get into the Inquisitors. So uh, that's if I can find my Owen outfit. Hang on. Okay, found it. And wait, there has only been one Owen outfit made. So uh, oh dear, I keep on forgetting to take my hats off. Uh, so make sure you set this skin color for Owen. And uh, that's pretty much your Owen outfit. It's from the start of the Kano of the Kenobi show, so uh, there's been no updates for how he looked in Episode uh, Six yet. So, uh, but thankfully we can now give him equipment due to Episode Six. So uh, we just have to give him a blaster rifle, most more of a sniper. But uh, just go I'm going to get him, give him this. Now, of course, you don't have to give him this. This is optional. But if you want to, because of Episode uh, Six. You can give him a blaster <laughs> if you really wanted to. So, uh, thanks to episode 6, now we can give Erin a blaster. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so let's get into Narve and then we get, get and then we will get into the Inquisitors. Alright, so uh, we just gotta find Narve. <laughs> He's a bit of an older morph, so. There's still been no Narve faces made yet, but. We can thankfully, thankfully, still make him. So, uh, that's how you make Nare. Now, you just want to get, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you just want to get Mind Trick, Force Push, and Force Jump. And for the lightsaber, you want to get Obi Wan's lightsaber. I'm going to put it in green this time. I think I'll put it in a blue when I made the video. I feel like he does kind of deserve the green. I, I might have used the more, might mainly used the lightsaber during the Clone Wars, but uh, who knows? But I think he does deserve the uh, green lightsaber if we just go by how he, how he seems to be preferring to use his uh, teachings of the Jedi. <laughs> of course, it is in the Empire time, so it would make more sense for him to be using the Force over the lightsaber. But uh, I'm just going to give him green for now. So now we can get into the Inquisitors. So, for our first Inquisitor, it's not actually an Inquisitor, but this is before they became an Inquisitor. And this is an outfit I've not shown on the channel yet. Youngling Weaver. <laughs> so we'll select this skin colour. This is Weaver when she was a youngling. So, uh, oh, if you don't get a hat if you're in Timelines Clone Wars, but if you're in Timelines XL, come to Republic. Then come over to the Rebel Trooper and get, select that hat on. And if you want to, you can re put the codes on. And uh, this kind of blends in with the black of the helmet, so you don't have to worry much about that. And you have her training helmet. So that's how to make Youngling Reaver. Don't, or you just have to get the same Jedi Force abilities. Just never get to the uh, repulse, because that's not really a, like an ability of the. Uh, I think I think only a, it's something that I think only a star killer used. So uh, yeah, let's get into the actual Inquisitors now. But we will be clean Inquisitor. Oh, I make sure to get the Grand Inquisitor name tag though, not Vismar, Vismar, because we are making the Grand Inquisitor here. So this skin color. 
Now what you want to do is come to force sensitive over here, select any hood, they're not going you're not going to even use it. Select this cape, select it in pitch black pretty much, and then select that. Come to Inquisitors, select this lightsaber and this helmet. So uh oh forgot about that. Uh, but select that helmet. So uh and then you've got the Grand Inquisitor. Oh, make sure to, uh, hold on, let me through. <laughs> uh, make sure to get this lightsaber form. Make sure, though, that when you're using it, make sure you do a back and then this. So you have it one hand behind your back, because that's how he fights. So, uh, yeah, that's how to make the Grand Inquisitor. Now we just have to make, now we're going on to Reaver's outfits. There are three Reaver outfits that I've made. Now there's no Reaver clothing from episode 6, so I kind of have to make it up. So for, we just have the uh, default Reaver outfit. I've not changed it since my uh, Inquisitor video. So uh, you want to come here, select any hood, select that cape. Select it in this black, so it's more like how it, the uh, clothing is. And you've got Reaver here. Again, come to Inquisitors, select this lightsaber and get your canon name tag now there is an optional uh, clothing bit where you'll have to use the uh, pitch black cape I'm just going to call it pitch black and it's like dark grey even though it's meant to be a black so uh, I'll just show you that real quick I won't be using it for this video though but if you really want to then uh, go and use it pretty much this is the outfit I won't be using it for the video but if you want to really use it, it will be in the description under the Reaver outfit. But this is Third Sister Reaver. So, uh, yeah. Now we're going to make Grand Inquisitor Reaver. So it's episode 5. All this, all we're doing here is just giving her a badge on her chest. Which is right here. That's all we're doing. And I purposely made it gold to make it more like our our Grand Inquisitor outfit is and I know it should be silver because that's how it is in the show but to keep continuity with our Grand Inquisitor outfit I've made it gold also I forgot to mention that you should be getting uh, the single handed dueling lightsaber style which is uh, this might as well get Reaver's equipment make sure you should always be for Dark so you should be using the Force Choke Force Push and uh, the force jump for light sides mind trick, force push and force jump just saying. And if you're going to someone like that, someone that is able to use force lightning in canon use the uh, light size force lightning as a Sith. And if you're going to play a coon or using an electric judgment, use uh, the Sith force lightning which is great. Alright, so now that out uh, that with that's out of the way, we can now make what I've labelled here as Grey Jedi Reaver, which is basically just an episode six appearance. This appearance was hard to make so hopefully you will like it select this her hair is a bit more messy than it, it was in the, the in the first couple of episodes make sure to select the same cape and uh, wait no not the same cape and hood sorry about that uh, you're not meant to select that cape and hood I am very sorry ignoring that colour oh you select this hood of course but now I'm going to, uh, you have to select that hood, but uh, I'm going to give you two cape options. This cape, or this cape. And then you want to select it in this brown, and then put it on. Because she does have a more of a thicker brown cape in a Kenobi episode 6. This lightsaber, and uh, of course this form. And what's, and well, uh, now, because we're getting into characters that aren't really using the lightsaber, that's uh, single handed and they don't use it uh, quite single handedly. And I'm, like, I'm just going to uh, just tell uh, which forms to get now. And I'm just going to get Grand Inquisitor for the name tag. So, uh, yeah, that's how to make the Reaver. I gave her a belt to represent the uh, kind of rope she has around her stomach after getting stabbed by Vader in episode 5. So uh, yeah, this is what I call, this is what I've labelled here as Grey Jedi Reaver. Now we can get into 5th brother and 4th sister. Now 4th sister has probably gone through the most changes on, in my outfit, so uh, yeah. So you want to select all the codes in the description of course. Then you want to come here, select these ears, select this skin colour, and then put it on. 
So this is to represent the uh, tentacle things she has. So now you want to come into Inquisitors. So the ringed saber in red. We never see her use the lightsaber, but it's like she, she would be using the ringed. Make sure to use uh, this saber form, which comes with the Inquisitor sabers. No need to get a cape, and then of course get your name tag and the uh, Sith uh, Force abilities. I've told you. And that is how to make the fourth sister. So now we're going to get into fifth brother. So I'm speeding through this. Uh. So fifth brother does have a different outfit compared to the uh, rebels outfit. So uh, does have a bit of a different look. Oh wait, you're not meant to put the codes on just yet. Uh, what you should do is go to Inquisitors, select this saber of course, select this hat and then put the codes on. Sorry. I've also uh, changed the pace on the uh, Rebels outfit, so uh, here we go, select this, so uh, that's how to make 5th brother from Kenobi, so uh, now we're going to get into the uh, next couple outfits, <laughs> we have uh, 2 more to go really, so we now have Bail Organa to put in, just got to find him, uh, alright found Bail, So where you want to select on these codes, select this, this is his caped version, then you want to come here, select this, select this, and then select uh, this uh, colour for your cape and hood, now of course get your name tag, I'm just going to stop getting the name tags, but uh, I think you've already seen enough proof of me having a Canon Game Pass by going to the Canon Game Pass room enough, so uh, now we're just going, so I'm just, just to save time, I'll just stop uh, going there. So we're sh now we're going to get the uh, capeless version, which is this, and now we're going to go on to uh, the next couple outfits. Alright, uh, get ready for the, uh, probably the worst Kenobi outfit I've made, which is a uh, Reaver, not Reaver, a uh, Leia. Keep in mind this is not very accurate, but make sure you have your how it's a model is small and this is how it will look it's not very accurate so I'm very sorry about that but it's the most accurate I can make it at the time at this moment so uh, yeah anyways so now we're going to I'm going to put on my uh, Hodger outfit so uh, I'll put them in a different order in the description though so do keep that in mind uh, just to pop, maybe I'll uh, just keep it simpler this is his, this is Hodge's appearance, I'm is it that skin colour? Or is it this? I'm pretty sure it's this. Uh, so this is uh, Hodge's appearance, make sure you come to the Force Sensitive Selector, I'm pretty sure it's this saber, in any colour you're not going to be using it. It's part of the appearance, and you want to come here, and I'm pretty sure you want to come to Equipment, select this blaster with the red bolts, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. So, uh, yeah, that's Hodge. So now we're getting into the final couple of outfits, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, getting into, the, I, think, I think, the final five outfits. I may, I may be wrong. So if I've been speeding through this, it's just I know it's been up going on for 20 minutes, and I think I do need to, uh, for some reason, I think I thought I had to uh, get it a bit faster. So uh, this is Vect Nokru. So let's select that skin colour. I'm not going to get the equipment now, probably, but I will just show you what equipment you should get. So, uh, you just help make it so I don't have to keep on respawning every time. So, uh, you want to select this blaster with this blaster bolt. So, uh, that's effect not crew. So, uh, now we're going to go on to Tyla. This is her hatless. Uh, this is what you should be using if you're not going to be using her hat much. And you still want and you want the uh, hair, so this is what she should look like. The uh, blaster you should be using in this appearance. You want to come to equipment. I'm pretty sure you should be using, I think, uh, this blaster maybe. If not, maybe uh, this blaster. I mean, no, yeah, this blaster. Using this blaster bolt. So, uh, yeah. You use a hat version, but if. But you don't have to use this, but this is really for if you're only going to be wearing your hat most of the time. So, uh, you want to select, oh wait, no, you want to come to Empire. Select this in uh, that, in this colour. 
put it on, then put the clothes on. So, uh, that's your Tyler Hats outfit. So now we're getting into our final couple outfits, I'm pretty sure. It's only now that I'm realising uh, that I made a lot of Kenobi outfits. So, uh, just trying to find if I have any more in my Kenobi section, you could say. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, so, we're going, we are coming on to our final couple outfits. So we're going to go on to my new Nesby. I've changed the helmets on Nesby, so uh, it's a bit more accurate to the uh, show. We also have a Qui-Gon Jinn Palpatine and some Purge Troopers for our last couple outfits after Neds, I'm pretty sure. So uh, this is what Nesby should look like. Sorry about the uh, helmets, it's not the best, but it, does, but it is more accurate to the show. Again, you want to come to uh, the... Joy blasters if you're in Timeline's Excel, if not just get the, the uh, blaster that's closest to this one and select this blaster pistol because he just kind of use it like a pistol. If you're, I think the uh, one that looks the most like that, like uh, this blaster, is probably uh, something like, I don't know, maybe uh, this blaster, if not, maybe something like that one's a bit too long, but you, oh, I'm just going to say that one for now. So, uh, yeah, that's Ned B. So now we're getting into a request that I was going to do, but uh, I got it done as soon as some, pretty much as quickly as I could after some, this person requested it. They wanted me to uh, make a purge trooper, but uh, I've made two purge troopers, the purge trooper commander and the purge trooper. So this is your purge trooper commander. So, uh, yep. Uh, I don't know what the purge trooper blaster is, so just, uh, so, yeah, hang on. Or what I just looked, and it seems to be their blaster looks the most like a this blaster rifle, and of course, get it in this. You want to do that for all purge troopers, so uh, this is your Kenobi purge trooper. So just get that blaster for all purge troopers. This is the non commander variant, but all it does is really just change the clothing. So, uh, yeah, this is your non commander variant, but I'm pretty sure they were all commanders in the show, so. Uh, now we're getting into our final two outfits. We have Emperor Palpatine, Kenobi variants. So we're just going to get him up real quick. And then for our final one, we have uh, the not the Grand Inquisitor. We have Qui Gon Jinn. So uh, this is your Palpatine outfit. Select this skin color. This is your Palpatine. No, he does not use any. He does not do anything in the show. So apart from the chat with Vader. So we don't need to get any equipment, but I would recommend getting Force Lightning, since that is what he does in the Dark, in the dark Side abilities. So for our final uh, 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 outfit, I'm going to have to find it. <laughs> so, uh, hold on, hold on. I'll be a bit down. <laughs> Got many outfits here, so we're taking a while but I found it. So uh, this is your Qui-Gon outfit, and this is the last outfit we'll be making for this video. So uh, if you really want to, you can come here, select your lightsaber like this. And have like a Force Ghost kind of lightsaber. I wouldn't recommend the uh, lighter blue though, because it does look a bit strange. But you have your Force Ghost lightsaber. He does not use a lightsaber though, and I don't think Force Ghosts even have lightsabers. But uh, apart from maybe the Sith Ghosts, which the Grand Inquisitor became in the comics. <laughs> but uh, if you want to give Qui-Gon a Force Ghost lightsaber, then go ahead. <laughs> but uh, that's it for this uh, Kenobi Morph video. This was a long, long video, almost 30 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hope you all can enjoy these Kenobi Morphs, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.